Brief introduction about myself. My name is Mohammed Said Harab, and uh, I started a company called Lamtara uh, Pictures, and which later on became Lamtara. And my sole reason for creating this uh, company was to work on my dream, and my dream was to create a cartoon for my people. Uh, I did not know that it will be the first ever 3D uh, animated series, and I had no idea it would be this successful for me 60 years later to be standing here and giving a speech about it. But um, I think uh, I learned the hard way. I went through a very, very rough journey of convincing people of, uh, Dubai was a very different place in 2001 when uh, you know, young ideas from younger people was not even welcomed and uh, TV stations were like these fortresses uh, of, of uh, establishments that you cannot even access if you are under uh, 30. So, uh, but I'm not here to talk about that because that's a speech by itself. I'm here to talk about the business of cartoons. Um, I've been lucky enough to have a successful show and with a successful show comes uh, commercializing that successful show. Uh, I know that uh, there is a problem between artists and money. For some reason, artists don't make money. They kind of hate each other. So uh, we were, and I've, I've been trying to find the best way of balancing that and finding new opportunities for my product to basically uh, grow and actually make more money for, for the company. Um, the typical way of doing a cartoon show or the, the getting money for the cartoon show is to buy getting it financed by the TV station or having a sponsor do that. So if you're lucky enough to cover your cost, then, then uh, you know, you're, you're in the, and everything will come as a, as a cherry on the pie, as they said. But before I go and talk about all these details in, in commercializing your product, and believe me, you can commercialize your, your product, I want to speak about animation as a medium by itself. Now animation is, is a new and fresh medium in the Middle East. It's been there for, for God knows how long, you know, but in the Middle East it's relatively new. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a segment of media that is generating a lot of interest. The number one viewed shows in the UAE are cartoon shows, watched by a huge number of audience, which brings me to another point. It's the, it's, it's, animation is one of the most expansive businesses in, uh, in the world. What do I mean by this? Uh, a cartoon product, an animation product, let's say Simpsons or Fridge, you will find a stage show for that. You'll find a coffee shop for that. You will find uh, books released for that. You'll have a theatrical show for that. You have a movie. You'll have the mascots going and meet and greet. You have a ride in, the, in some theme park. And that's very true with cartoon characters it's, you know, and big budget movies. But in Arabia, I've never seen a product that is a media product, that is not animation, that get, can get and uh, can expand like this. So your, your typical Egyptian soap opera, where you won't find Nour Sharif on a mug or a t-shirt, or you can't go have the Nour Sharif ride in a theme park or something like that. So the nature of the medium is something that basically allows you to expand. And with expansion comes what? Money. Am I right? Keep repeating money, huh? Um, animation appeals to a wide variety of audiences from all age groups, genders, and social demographics. This is very true also because in Arabic content, like I said before, the Arabic soap is watched by 18 and above. A cartoon show that is dubbed will be watched by three, three years old and above, uh, uh, till, till a certain age. You won't find the show that basically catch, grabs a huge target audience and can communicate to them. So that's a very powerful thing, powerful thing to do. It's a powerful vehicle to have. Animation can be applied to a wide variety of delivery mediums. So you don't have to even, your show doesn't have to stick only to TV. It can go to cinemas as, as a movie, it can go online, it can go on mobile, and even it can go on theater. So again, the, uh, taking the, the outlets for animation are huge. And the more we think about it, the more we think that this is, you know what, this is a great medium. More, better than any other media medium because number one, it's fresh. Number two, it applies to many uh, demographics. Bigger audiences watch it. Number three, it can be uh, applied on different, you know, ways of uh, sh showing that. And animation can be 
as a, a simple clip done, done by one person sitting on a couch, if he knows how to use flash or whatever. I have an idea, I can do that. Or an expensive product that costs millions and made by more than 500 team members in several countries. Both can be effective. One simple one can be viral, and like uh, the gentleman said here, you know, the Yahoo contacts them, he's like, listen, I want to do a show with you. Or it can be something on a larger scale, and both of them work. So again, I know many people who go like, you know what, I want to do animation, I have no idea what to do, I have no idea what to start, I don't, ha I, you know, I don't have enough team members. Oh, for animation you need a gazillion people doing a gazillion things. That's one of the things that I had scaring me when I first studied animation. I was like, how on earth will I do animation? Like, where? How? I did not know the... But, you know, if you look, search, you, you, you'll have the know-how. Before I studied animation and, and all of that, I studied architecture and I failed miserably. So I, I did not even know what I wanted to be. Uh, one thing I loved was I sketched a character. So I was sketching a character. And this is how I got into the business. I, I was sketching a, gr a grandmother character randomly. Then, it's in black and white, it's in paper. And then somebody told me about a program called Photoshop. I was like, what does it do? It's like, you can color the character digitally. You don't have to color, you know, back in the day. I was like, really? It's like, yeah, yeah. So I scanned the picture and I, scanned, and I saw my character being colored. And sooner and slowly I got, to know it, uh, I got to know the program, I learned it by myself. And then they told me that you can actually turn your, pro, uh, your uh, character and make it into a vector format. So you can stretch it and you can make it on a billboard. You know, it's a, it's a file that is easy to do. And guess what, the, color, the, car, the colors look more cartoony. And I learned Illustrator. By myself, huh? trial and error, I learned. And then they told me, listen, you can actually uh, develop a story by putting some slides together. So I learned PowerPoint. And then they told me, listen, you can actually make them move slowly and nicely if you uh, take a program called Flash. So I learned Flash. By myself, I didn't even you know, go to, they were not teaching me that in the university. In the university, they were teaching me, um, you know, what, you know, who drew the Mona Lisa, why was the Mona Lisa, art theory, art history, which is very important. Uh, but at the same time, and this is my point, you have to develop your skills by yourself. You don't wait to somebody to teach you something. You have to expand your knowledge. I was addicted to games, not playing them, buying the magazine only. Because by buying the magazine, I'm, I'm opening my mind to the best creative uh, uh, ways, to something from zero sketches and art form to actually me playing the game and controlling this character. And there is a journey. And till today, till today, every week or every month, I go to the uh, bookstore and I buy myself gaming magazines. I was like, oh, what's the, I, because I follow the journey of a game from the day it's announced till the day it's gone and the score, and I don't play the game. I just, you know, I just, I'm fascinated by, by the medium, let's say. So when, when, when Fridge was, you know, to define Fridge for you, Fridge is a cultural entertainment brand. Yeah? It's a brand. It's not a cartoon show. It's a brand. It's, it's something that you will, f and why do I say a brand? Because you can find it, it's easy recognizable. You can find, you know what this brand represents. When you think Fridge, you think cartoon, UAE, culture, X, Y, and Z. 3D animation, hip, cool, whatever it is, that synonyms that will come towards you. And you will see it in different areas or as different forms. Yes, the brand is mainly driven by an animated series. Yeah, my brand is driven by, by an animated series. And from that animated series, I stem out. So you need to see what is your driver, who is your driver, Mudhish, for example, is the driver for Mudhish is his merchandising program. And out of the merchandising program stems out a cartoon show. I'm doing it in reverse form. I have a cartoon show and I, and I friends, for example, is a TV show. But from, t from the TV show stems cafe X, Y, and Z. So you need to find what is the vehicle for you that will reach the maximum audience, or not necessarily the maximum audience, your main target audience and you really need to define your target audience and this is the biggest problem we have in Arabic shows. We cannot clearly define our target audience. For children it's easy, it's a kids show but when I come and speak about 
content for, for adults, we go like, eh. Yeah. Anyway, Fridge is also found as an extensive merchandising program, a theatrical show, a meet and greet program, and more. And guess what? This is something we did not sit when I started sketching this character and said, you know what? This is what I will do. When I did my business plan for Fridge year one, all the buckets where it says DVD sales, merchandising, blah, 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 it was all on zero. Because you have to be realistic with yourself when you do business plans. You, you will not impress anyone by saying, you know what? This show, it will sell 500,000 dirhams in merchandising when you're selling it to a sponsor or, a produ or, or somebody who will fund you. Because you're lying to yourself and you're lying to him. If you base everything on very pessimistic numbers, very, very pessimistic numbers, then everything else that will come will be a pleasant surprise. And if it's not, then you're still within your uh, business plan parameters. So one thing that you have to be careful about is really be true to yourself when you start putting these numbers together. Fridge is built on excellence, originality, and dedication. Now, why is this important? Again, I come back to the original point I spoke to you before. The audience is now exposed to quality programming. They are, they are people who go to the cinema and watch the best 3D movies. Uh, they are the same people who sit at home and watch the best c cartoon shows and the best TV shows. So unless, and this is the new generation, they're very in tune with what is nice. So to, in order for you to stand out, you need to be of quality. And if, uh, and if you want a half a chance to go international, it has to be strong enough to, uh, to stand on its own feet and be a prime example. 